Let's take a look at Nvidia's stocks. We'll definitely touch upon volatility because it gives us signals. Also, let's look at the strikes, formulate a strategy, and I'll explain why there's a high probability of correction in this stock starting from the very soon. Let's start with volatility. In mid-March, volatility was at around 80% more precisely from 60% for distant strikes to 92% for near strikes. This occurred in mid-March, but currently for the past two weeks, we've been experiencing consolidation of the stock, and we can see this reflected in the volatility, which is currently decreasing due to the consolidation. Wait, I'll explain later what might happen with it, but first, let's look at the volatility smile. Strangely enough, the volatility smile is mostly flat, except for very serious increases in volatility at the $250 level where it starts to rise sharply. Moreover, the smile is balanced towards both calls and puts, but that's not the most important thing. Let's also look at the historical and implied volatility. At the moment, on the near end, volatility is below its historical values. Usually, historical volatility represented by the gray line is higher on the near end of the curve. The white line represents implied volatility. As we can see on the far end of the curve, it's higher than historical volatility. Now, I want to draw your attention to this graph. It will determine the future of the stock. This is the most important thing to focus on right now. Let me add more strikes so that you understand what's happening. Look, I've added absolutely all the tradable strikes at the moment. And as we can see, the main volume of call options is concentrated at the $920 level, also at the $950 and $1,000 levels. Put options are concentrated at the $900 level. There's a huge, massive volume of 100,000 contracts and the stock price is quite high. But the most important thing, pay attention. The purple represents the nearest strikes for March 22nd and March 28th. And look, more than half of the options are concentrated precisely on this week. That is, weekly options. What does it mean? It means that someone bought a huge volume of options and consequently someone sold this huge volume of options and acted as a market maker. At the moment, if the stock price doesn't move anywhere, we can see a very serious correction. Why? Because the market maker sold these options and hedged them through buying stocks. It's called delta neutral hedging. This dynamic strategy allows the market maker to remove risk. That is, they sold you a call option and hedged themselves by buying the underlying asset. And as we can see, more than half of all these options are closing this week. And if the majority closes below $900, for example, where nobody saw, it will go below $900. And as we can see, the main volume is above $900. So absolutely everyone will get premiums from the market makers and they will need to sell all these hedges. So at the moment, the market makers have hedged the sold call options and they have a lot of stocks in hand. And the longer the stocks don't rise, the more the premium is burned and the more they need to sell the hedge stocks. And as the gamma squeeze builds up, it can start working in the opposite direction on the decline. That is, the market maker will need to close all these hedges. When they close the hedge, they push the stock down. And when the stock is pushed down, they must sell even more hedges according to their delta neutral strategy. And what can happen if we don't see continued growth in the near future? There is again the potential for its decline. But I want to remind you of my philosophy. I cannot predict price movements. I have no idea where the stock will go. Anyone who tells you they know where the stock will go is simply deceiving you. I can only speculate. I claim that the stock has exhausted its growth. I say this because before continuing to grow, obviously there must be some healthy correction here. Without it, there is nowhere it will go. It's hard to say, but if we talk about stock, of course it can fall very strongly, even to $300. That is, according to the risk reward ratio, buying the stock at the moment is not the best idea. The reason is that its growth potential remains very small. Yes, again, it can grow to a thousand. No one will deny that. But how much will you earn from it? Obviously not much compared to where it can fall. That is, again, I cannot predict price movements. My task is to manage positions wisely, to compose a risk managed portfolio. And at the moment, the risk reward ratios are not in the investor's favor. I will repeat once again. I also want to say that the longer the consolidation here, the more likely it is that the stock will start some correction. Perhaps profit taking is happening here. You know, yes, that it is impossible to fix all the profit in one day, which the funds and major managers have accumulated they need time to unload. And when they unload, the stock can definitely plummet very strongly. But again, under no circumstances am I calling to short this stock. Not at all, it's completely prohibited. Not through options, and even less through naked stocks, because options at the moment are very, very expensive. I also promise to devise a strategy through options. Here's an interesting option as we can see that. If the stock continues to rise, we profit. We also profit if the stock continues to stay in this sideways movement. So the strategy is aimed at making money in any case. As we see, the probability of profit is 86%. I will not open this strategy. I showed it solely as an example of what can be done because this position will need to be managed, buying more shares, selling shares. The strategy is quite complex to implement. Obviously at the moment it's artificial intelligence. 
and everything related to this is generation. Generating images, generating videos helps a lot, and of course new ones are needed. Chips, new computers to process such data. I don't argue that it's necessary. But again, I believe that fundamental indicators do not affect stocks in the short to medium term. Yes, in the long term it is noticeable. But don't be surprised if the stock drops by 60% and revenue and profit start to grow. Like it was with Tesla stock, as we can see almost three years ago, Tesla stock was almost 100% more expensive. Although revenue and profit were much lower and it's quite possible that its stock could also drop for some time and not grow for a long time. But again, that's my opinion. Trading on, well, I don't recommend it. I also suggest you watch this video here I analyze. Broadcom stocks, they actually look more interesting than Nvidia stocks. I also analyze the growth potential in this company. Good luck to everyone.